Last year, late last year, the president of Kenya, William Ruto, made a very important announcement. He said, let's check out the video. As president of this extraordinary country, to make a historic announcement, beginning January 2024, Kenya will be a visa-free country. Good. So, today, I'm in the Kenyan border, Kenya-Tanzania border, over here, Namanga. So, I'll be trying to cross from Tanzania into Kenya through the Namanga border over here. So, let's see if it's possible for me as a Nigerian to cross to Kenya without visa. So, join me and I'm going to update you guys on the progress when I successfully cross into the country. I just came to take some money, some Kenyan money from this ATM. See, if you're coming to Kenya this January, you need to actually make a good research, and I'm sure this video is not help you a lot. I actually got to the border, like I said earlier, I got to the border and I was asked to pay money for visa, $51. I actually played him, the custom officer, played in the video from the president himself, but he insisted that I must actually pay the money. So, if you're coming, you have to, hello, mambo. So if you're coming, you have to know this, the visa free for now. I don't think it's nothing like that. Actually, this morning I tried to, I went to the website, the same website I normally use to apply. There was no option for e-visa application. So I used, I just came hoping that I will be allowed to enter the country with the instruction of the president. But the man said, I will play the video. I couldn't make the video of him, but I actually got audio of him, of his reply, of his response. So I will play the audio of what he, was, what he told me at the immigration office. So I actually ended up paying 51, over $51 because he said, I'm going to pay for being sorry. So I paid $8,000. $8,000 is $51 according to today's exchange. So I ended up paying $8,500. Kenyan shillings, which is over $51. According to him, the 500 is for saying sorry. So even though I played him video by video from what the Mr. President said, he still insisted that I must get visa. The worst part is that when, when I insisted that this is what the President said, he went and told the Tanzania immigration to take my passport and deport me. So I, I held my passport tight and I had no other option than to say I'm sorry. Because I don't want to go back to Tanzania, I already have, I already have a transit visa, and I've already given an exit. They have already stamped me exit from Tanzania, so it will be very, very difficult if they take my passport again. So I had my passport, and uh, I begged the officer, the immigration officer, and Mama, it is crazy. Let me go back. When I get to Nairobi, I'll relax and give you guys an update of what happened. And I swear I'll play you the update, the reply, the, his voiceover of what he told me. So keep watching. So before we continue this video, let me play you the conversation I had with the immigration officer. This is what he told me. When I played him a video about uh, the president making the announcement, this is what he told me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sir. Um, they didn't dispense dollars, so we will draw the people names. Sorry, <laughs> So guys, after everything, I ended up paying for the visa. I haven't paid. I paid fifty-one US dollars for the visa. And uh, I also paid 500 for actually 
reminding him what the president said. I called to you for saying sorry. So at the end of the day, I paid 8500 Is this your first visa. video of Kenya? Yes, coming into Kenya. This is your first video? Yes, the border entry. Guys, I'm here with Karima. You know, we, we left Kenya together. And we are, yeah. we are back, back again. again. Okay, after going through five countries. Yeah. Did you enjoy yourself? You know, we plan to go more, we plan to go to West Africa, to yeah, Morocco. Yeah, I was planning to go West Africa, but I had to cancel the plans. Yes, uh, in the next video, we review Garema's plan to you guys. So, so for the visa, for now, there is no free visa to Kenya. Just know that there are no peace. No, it's, it's from 50, it's $30 now. No, the guy, the man, the man, you know, and the, this is said, there's nothing like that. Even no, when I, when no, I told no. him about, about what Vito said, he even laughed at the video. No, he, you need now, you don't need e visa now, you need ETA. Yeah. E visa was $50, ETA is $30. Not but it's much. not free. But they, they, free. They, actually, they, they told me, actually, there's one, there's one problem traveling in Africa as an African. You find it very, when we're trying to enter Tanzania, me and Karima, so we are traveling together. She's from Asia and from Africa. Within five minutes, she was given 90 days stamp into Tanzania. You're laughing. She was given three months, and I had to stand there for more than 30 minutes because they said that according to them, Nigeria is among one referral, whatever, whatever. They have to have someone to refer to, to as in to invite me inside Tanzania. So for me to travel as an African is more difficult. That someone who come from Asia, all the way from India, they gave her a stamp, she entered. But me as an African, I couldn't go in. At the end of the day, the guy have to bend for me to get a transit visa, which is just seven days. So all through my stay in Tanzania, I only had I only got seven days. But seven days was better than Burundi. Yeah. Burundi, only three days, guys. But they gave you the option to just go into the country and get, apply for visa. But this one, they say I will have to. Even I wasn't meant to even cross with that. With that, uh, if you're coming from Nigeria with Nigerian passport, you cannot even go to Tanzania with that transit visa. Did you go to problem when you were exiting Tanzania? There, no, there, there was no. The only problem is that when I refused to give the Kenya immigration officer the money, she was no, on the Tanzanian side. No, it's a one one stop border. Yeah, They're all yeah, together. Yeah. So when 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 I told you, look at what the president said about free visa. He, he went and reported me to the immigration of Tanzania. Yeah. So they were calling me to take off to take my passport. I refused to give it to them. So they wanted to take my passport and cancel their. They already have already gotten exit from them already. And my, you know, guys, I've been to the Manga border, the one he crossed, and that border is very shit. And all the immigration officers there are so bad, they made even problems for me. I had to stay at that border for two days. Two days? Three years ago. So that wow. border is not good. But the border I crossed this time from Mwanza. Oh, Kenyan officer was so good, he made my day. He was best. Mwanza border was very, very comfortable, guys. But the Namanga border is so bad. Bro, yeah. when I say I can't give you money, I'm, I want to follow what the president said. He immediately went to the immigration officer of Tanzania and reported to them. They were calling me, bring your passport here. Bring your, I, yeah. think I, I won't give my passport. You know, the two days I stayed, Tanzania was exiting me and cancelling and bringing me back. Exiting me, cancelling and uh -uh. bringing me back. Why? Because Kenya was not letting me go. Kenya was asking me 2,000, 3,000 shilling. Just and imagine. I was like, I'm not giving you And you have, your, you have your visa? No, no, no. It was visa on arrival. Before Kenya? Yeah. Check. So that, that time there was nothing like a visa. It was visa on arrival. Oh. And I did not give him nothing. I, I think stayed, you're, you're very stubborn with him actually. Yeah, I'm very stubborn. For me. I stayed there two, <laughs> two days and no, I did no, not no. give him even one shilling. If I had given the Tanzania guy my passport, he would have made a problem with me. Which means I'll have to go back into Tanzania and I have no, just two days to leave. He wanted to cancel the exit because he already complained I, to me. My exit was cancelled. So I, had, I, only have me I have limited days to stay. I have only transit visa. But you had one day at least to come back and uh, go again. They might still do the same thing again. Okay. They might even deport me, which means I have to go back to Nigeria from Tanzania. Yeah, you guys yeah, are crazy. I, so I, I remember that three years ago. 
go what happened to me at Namanga. Oh my god. So guys, if you're planning to come to Kenya, about the free visa thing that the president announced, from experience, it's, it's not working. It's not free, but it's $30. It's, you have they to demanded, they demanded 50, 51 USD from me. Because you did not have ETA. You need to you know, apply. You know, I, I even went online on the same website to check for e-visa. There, there, there was no e option. Visa, it's ETA. E-visa is finished. It's finished. Yeah. So what was not a free visa? They say they cancelled visa e visa. They still bring it here, which means you have to must still pay money. It's thirty dollars. It's twenty dollars cheaper. What's the difference? Yeah. Amma. Yeah, Hello. Yeah, but it's not free. It's not free. There's no free visa. So if you before you come to Kenya, relax and uh, make your plan. Get your visa first. Print out. Get your visa printed. Be sure that you're going to get entry. If not, you're still going to pay the money, and you're likely going to pay double. From the corrupt immigration officers, but this time around you came in so smoothly through Sierra Leone. Oh, the was so nice. Everyone was nice there. Imagine. Yeah, Isbania border was very good. Even officer first told me, you know, he was looking my passport. Then he asked me which countries did you go. I told him South Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and now, guys, now South Sudan is not part of North Africa. It has shifted into East Africa. <laughs> But in Google, it's not Africa. <laughs> yeah, they have shifted themselves into East Africa. So he told me, he was so nice, you know, he did not even take corruption from me. And he told me, Garima, as you were inside East Africa, your previous Kenyan visa is still working. And you can go for free inside Kenya till 30th of January. Oh, wow. So he gave me stamp on my old visa and he did not take any money. Wow. It was so good. Guys. I think traveling with uh, Garima was so nice because uh, even some people told me that it was impossible for me to cross Tanzania. Tanzania border, but I made but, it, it happened. Hey, we were fighting <laughs> with that. We were like, give the visa, what's it the happened. problem? But with this small magic for it to happen. Yeah. With this small magic. But you yeah. know, for him, it was illegal to give you visa. So yeah. it's okay. So we did the magic mm -hmm. for it to happen. So I don't know why, I me mean, as an African, I cannot even visit Africa country, but someone from this Muzungu. I'm Muzungu. <laughs> I'm not Muzungu. I'm Muzungu. What's the difference? It's a big difference. What is Muzungu? Muzungu is a stranger, but Muhindi. The wanderer. Muh no, Muhindi is not a stranger, a strange person on this land. Okay. They are living with Muhindi since so many years, so they know who is Muhindi. Ah, uh, okay. But Muzungu is someone who comes from far away and they don't know where he comes from. Yeah, okay guys, it was so hard for me to get entry into African country. But this Muhindi was so, was so smooth for her. So I wonder what is the cause. If you know the cause, please kindly comment below. If you think African, African leaders should do better, which I think so, kindly comment below. And if you know reason why, what the president of Kenya is saying and what the officers are doing, why is so different? Please kindly comment below. Garima crossed over from uh, Sabaya border because she wanted to stop over at uh, Yabohanze. But me have been to Yabohanze multiple times, so I don't see any reason why she go there again this year. So I decided to cross over from Namanga border, which will help me to also see other town, other cities. No, but even if it was Tanzania. not near Abohanze, I was not interested to go Arusha. It's far away. Yes, I know. And that border is shit. And I don't want to go to Arasalam. So, I wa anyways, I was crossing Mohanza. No, it's okay for you. But our plan was to cross from Mohanza. That was our plan. Yeah, before, was before, before we met Pluto. So, me, uh, yeah, because I have gone to that village. <laughs> Noise pollution. So because I've come to that village multiple times, that's why I changed my own plan of following uh, Pluto them down to other cities like Arusha, yeah. then cross over to Namanga, which is a new, a new place for me. And I've been Arusha many times, so I was not so, interested. Exa exactly. So it was my own, my own move. Because I've been to Yabohaza multiple times, so there's nothing new for me to go see there again. So she have to go there because she have known Mara for almost three years. Even before she knew me, she have known Mara. I, I, Subscriber, yes. So, so she had to, had to go there, but me, I had to go to other places. I have limited time to stay in Tanzania, 
and I have to go to other city like Arusha, then cross over to Namanga border. So this is the update. Uh, can you really cross to Kenya without visa? The answer is no. Get your visa before you start coming. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you have anything you have to say about this video, kindly comment below. About what the officer said at immigration, if you, are, if you understand Swahili, you can translate it in the comment below so we understand. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this will help any of you who are planning to come to Kenya. So for now, I'm going to somewhere with Garima because she's leaving Kenya very soon. So I'll see you guys in that next video. Ciao.